Jr. in the metal voice, and a, well, actually, a second time, Carlos Bavazzo, former guitarist of Quiet Riot, and of course, so many other projects over the years. Carlos of Nasty, what was your feeling like when your ass team be inducted this year at the metal the metal moment? Right? It was shocking. It really was. I wasn't expecting it. You know, I thought I was just doing an interview, and and he ended up calling him after the interview and telling me all oh, this. I was how bad what? And I was, I was elated. I really was, and you we very grateful of it. He's happy to be How do you feel with so many people at the lobby? You walked into the place. They identify you right away. They go, oh my God, you got to sign this. And I see you there, like not even two minutes in the lobby. And there you're surrounded by so many people. How does that make you feel, bro? Uh, it makes me so bright. I mean, to, to, for people to, to admire what you've done, and nothing better in the world. The Metal Health was in 1983, number one on Bill. It knocked off, you know, Police. I think it was Michael Johnson. Right. Right. A lot of people don't realize, because this is a quiet guy. <laughs> you, was right. quiet. you wrote, you co wrote half that out. Maybe you want to just expand on that. Uh, well, yeah, I did. Uh, I brought in probably like four or five songs on that record and uh, yeah, with Kame shipping my songs and Kevin's songs that just my work the producer was great for us at the time and uh, we, we really hit it out of the ballpark. We got lucky and we, 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 I'm winning the lottery, I guess. <laughs> no, but, he, but, are, there, are, are, are there any Quiet Riot tracks from Metal Health and Condition Critical that are sort of sitting in the vault somewhere? Well, there, there is. There is probably like four or five songs and you look for it or not. But do you have access to them or is it Kevin's? Today, no, no, I have copies of it all, but nobody could do anything with it. You know, with all those masters, but um, uh, just out there, you know, if there ever be a release to be under ever thinking of releasing it, uh, I probably wouldn't be against it. I don't know about the people at the label or anything like that. Okay, we talked about the legacy, and you talked about the metal all of Vele Dutch. What what is the future goal for Cars the Master? Oh, it was a future goal. Actually, I'm playing with Hurricane right now. Uh, they uh, had a problem with the guitar player. They needed somebody to fill in for a couple of shows. He didn't want to cancel out. So I said, yeah, I can do it. They asked me to. So it's like an all night three shows. And that's our best year in the this year. Yeah. A Sweet Lock Festival. There's the London Festival. Fight of Harris. Because of Carmen at Peace, right? Uh, I did do a record with them. Yeah. That was my uh, King Cobra. King yeah. Cobra, that's right. Yeah. Sure. And that, that came out already. It's been out for a couple months, I believe. But um, I also did a um, with Freak Show, too. They got all the way through my wife on the internet. And uh, I guess, you know, they were looking for somebody to, to finish the record after Jeff Favoy has asked. I've been friends with Jeff throughout the years. He's always been really cool to me. So I said, well, send me the music in me here. And I liked that. I, I didn't write their material, but I knew I'd record and everything needed. But I just sent them a bunch of files, and they used what they wanted to do. I love Jeff's heads. Thank you so much for that. I don't want to take too much of your time. Or no problem to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for induction. You know, the little, the teenager in me <laughs> is happy that we would, would have thought fast forward. <laughs> this for many me. years, the teenager in me, wow, Carlos is getting a little bit crazy. And it's crazy, crazy. And that's it. Anyway. Get up for Carlos, everybody. Round of applause. Let's hear it.